because of the measures that are being taken by the US, Europe, and other major countries around the world. As you know, China is also boosting uh, the consumer market in China. So I believe that with the amount of money that's being pumped into the global system, uh, this will be rather short-lived. Some optimism from emerging markets pioneer Mark Mobius there. Speaking of optimism, one sector that has held up relatively well in the doom and gloom of recent times has been the telco sector. Take mobile and internet solutions company Sybase, for example. Its stock has outperformed the S&P Infotech Index as well as a wider MSCI Asia Index so far this year. And that's in part because of its mobile business, which saw a 30% increase in third quarter messaging revenues, especially here in Asia. And that's why the company even raised its profit forecast for 2008. So what's behind the company's success? Well, for more, let's talk to Matthew Talbot, Vice President of M Commerce at Sybase 365, which is the mobile subsidiary of U.S. listed Sybase, and he joins us today on the program. You're on your way to Macau for that uh, Asia Mobile Congress. Welcome to the program, Matthew. So uh, let's talk about business here in Asia, doing pretty well. Yeah, we can't complain. I mean, as you said, year-on-year -year growth, 30% up on messaging. You know, the signs are very positive. We haven't been affected by the financial services crisis. And business continues to grow. What's popular here in Asia? Uh, look, it's, it's messaging in general. I mean, if you look at the emerging markets, markets like India, markets like China, Indonesia, they're putting on five to eight million subscribers a month. That means increased messaging overall. In conjunction with that, you've got the enterprises moving into mobility, reducing costs, another way to get to consumers and managing that personal relationship. Yeah, and there's uh, also new technology being used and, and uh, innovated here in Asia as well, because yep. I can pay uh, grocery th with your cell phone, which is something that you're a part of as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're launching a whole suite of products around mobile services, and really the ability to use your mobile phone to transfer money between yourself and your friends, pay for goods and services, and do your everyday shopping. Yeah, is that popular? Is that catching on? I, I don't Look, know many it's, people that It's starting very much in the emerging markets because that's where there's, there's a lack of credit cards. There's a lack of the real bank world. So in markets like the Philippines, markets like Indonesia, India, et cetera, you're starting to see lots of forms of mobile payment emerge. Right, and you're also going to start mobile banking here pretty soon as well. Yeah, absolutely. We work with a lot of the large banks today on enabling them their mobile service. Some of this is extension of traditional services. Some of it's related to cost savings, security, and marketing overall. Yeah, let's talk about security. There's a lot of concerns about that. I mean, how, how can you trust a mobile network to, you know, to relay your, your banking details along yep. as well? So uh, how do you, I guess, uh, make sure that security is a big issue and that it's tight? Yeah, security is always a question. I mean, if you look at things like two-factor authentication for internet banking, when you're asked to put in a second password, today most of the banks are actually starting to use SMS to deliver that password. It's just as secure as what they do online, but it's obviously more convenient to users like yourself. Mm -hmm. And is there, what about the complaint that there's a lack of a common technology so that this can be transferable? Like people use different grades, like HTML, I don't know, WAP, yeah, whatever. Yeah, no, good question. And when you get back to it, we use the lowest common denominator. It's all about messaging. SMS is obviously 98% of phones, and that's what drives our business. That's what drives the 200 billion messages we do per year. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you work uh, a lot with uh, financial institutions, as you, as you mentioned, and Citigroup is uh, one of your customers, and you heard the news today, they're cutting uh, 52,000 jobs, you know, also reducing costs. Um, is that c concerning for Sybase going forward? Well, what does this, that mean for The contracts? second point you mentioned, reducing costs, is why they use mobile. I mean, we provide messaging for Citibank in 30 plus countries around the world, and it does reduce costs. It's all about reducing costs. It's all about enhancing security, and it's all about having that personal relationship with the customer. How do you help them reduce costs? The cost of sending, obviously, messages is a lot cheaper than them using paper and using tokens, say, for two-factor authentication or opening bank branches. I mean, the cost of opening bank branches, ATMs, et cetera, to service people is a lot more expensive than sending text messaging. Mm -hmm. And what about uh, other financial institutions out here in Asia? Who are you working with these days? Uh, we work with uh, Standard Charter Bank as well in many countries throughout the world. Uh, and actually, we work with banks globally. So in Europe, in North America, even in Latin America, even in the Middle East, you'll find all banks are using mobility for some form of communication or customer relationship management today. Yeah, and is Asia your big, uh, I guess, your big revenue uh, generator right now? Absolutely. Look, my, Asia is a very aggressive mobile market. This is where you see a lot of the trends. This is where you're going to see the next 1 billion, 2 billion subscribers. Okay, and you recently signed, uh, what, uh, a few extra contracts out here in Asia as well with some uh, mobile carriers. Uh, what's going on there? Yeah, we're connected to over 700 operators around the world. We continue to build that. Um, that was just another example of us bringing carriers together to create more messaging. 
Okay, so what's the next trend, the next revolution uh, here in Asia with mobile messaging? You already have Kathy on your side when you uh, get, you know, you book your seat, you get the instant message as to what seat number you have and when that flight is taking off. But what's the uh, next revolution in mobile well, messaging? I think mobile enterprise is moving into mobility is here now. So any enterprise is starting to use mobile. But the big, uh, the big one that we see coming is mobile payments, and it's all about the ability to use your phone to pay for goods and services. Yeah, it, but that's not catching on much right now. I mean, less than 1% uh, of uh, online bankers use mobile payments or mobile banking, as you, as you uh, say. So how, do you, how does that catch on? I mean, how do you uh, advertise that and make people You are starting to see it. I mean, we re recently ran some independent research that said, you know, 65% plus of banks over the next 18 months will launch some form of mobility in banking and payments. And as that rolls out, you'll see subscribers take it up. You've also got the operators getting into the mobile payment space as well. So for the first time, you've got the operators looking to become banks. And so it's coming from both sides of the fence. Okay, Matthew. Thank you for stopping by today. Enjoy your time out in Macau. That's uh, Matthew Talbot of Sidebase 3.